hello guys so welcome again to my channel in this video i will discuss how to uh, rectify or how to repair any damaged bridge girder okay the damage may be occurred due to the impact of any vehicle uh, in case of your viaduct or it may be due to uh, the bridge is very old and the construction material was poor so whatever may be the reason in this video we will learn how to rehabilitate or repair any bridge girder by using fiber reinforced polymer or in short FRP okay so without wasting time let's start and before starting if you are new to this channel please do subscribe because definitely you are in future you are going to be benefited well before uh, starting the discussion how to use FRP or how to repair by using FRP we'll analyze how we will analyze why FRP is used and what is the function of FRP in any girder okay so let consider uh, this is the bridge girder okay and your loads are applied like this okay and for this load what you do you apply your reinforcement let's say these are your bottom reinforcement and what is the function of this reinforcement this reinforcement are used to cater your bending moment or you can say that this reinforcement are to cater the flexure okay and in addition to this uh, bottom reinforcement what you provide you normally provide the sear reinforcement like this okay these are the sear reinforcement okay so this was the function of your reinforcement during the design or construction of your girder now what happened your girder is damaged okay let's say the uh, this was your girder originally okay this is the bottom reinforcement and this are your sear reinforcement okay and by the course of time what happened your girder is damaged like this the bottom concrete is uh, spalled out okay or maybe that your reinforcement has been corroded and maybe that there are some shear crack like this okay so what you have to do you have to rehabilitate this girder so simply what we will do we cannot insert any uh, CR reinforcement in this cracked zone it is not possible for us to insert new shear reinforcement within the girder also it is not possible for us to insert new uh, bottom reinforcement for flexure it is not possible for us so what we will do we will simply use FRP okay so what is FRP FRP is nothing but fiber reinforced polymer and it has some tensile strength in the range of 4900 MPa okay so you can imagine the strength which is given by your FRP so what we will do we will simply put some FRP at the bottom of the girder okay which will act as your reinforcement for flexure and simply we will also put some FRP strip here which will act as sear reinforcement okay so I think now basic is clear okay so now so now move on how to apply your FRP okay so I will discuss in step by step okay and this is based on my practical application in one of my site okay so this is the bridge where the uh, repairing work is ongoing here you can see that this are the girder okay this is the damaged girder so the very first step is you have to remove the dilapidated concrete here you can see this two fellow this two lever are simply removing the uh, dilapidated concrete by using hammer jackhammer okay and here you can see that the reinforcement are visible clear so this is your first step and after removing the old concrete you may observe that the reinforcement are corroded so what you have to do you have to simply treat the reinforcement okay by using some chemical so that the reinforcement are corrosion free and there is no further chance of future corrosion okay so after treating the reinforcement the reinforcement looks something like this one so the step 2 is completed now this is time to move forward to step 
3 now your reinforcement is ready and at the bottom of the girder there is no concrete so what you have to do you have to put up new fresh concrete but this concrete is quite different uh, compared to your normal concrete here i am using your micro concrete and this micro concrete is from your fos rock you may uh, may be familiar with FOSROF or BSF if you are associated with this type of rehabilitation job. Okay, so uh, right now FOSROF is very uh, familiar to this rehabilitation world, and in this micro concrete pack, you need to add some coarse aggregate. The size is normally 5.6 mm. Okay, with the addition of this 5.6 mm aggregate, you are mixing. Or you are preparing your micro concrete and after application of micro concrete the girder bottom looks like this one here you can see that this is a freshly prepared uh, uh fit of your girder after the application of your micro concrete okay so now this is time to apply your frp okay but before applying your frp what you have to do you have to prepare the surface by grinding it for smooth surface okay and not only that the frp cannot be attached with your concrete directly because the compatibility is completely different okay there is no compatibility within your concrete and frp that's why in between them you need to provide some adhesive but before applying the adhesive you need to apply a primer here you can see also that i am using your uh, primer this is the primer phosphor and the name is need to wrap 30 okay and this is the primer here i have applied that's why the surface become shiny okay and primer is applied now i will uh, apply the saturant or the adhesive here you can see i am applying your uh, phosphor saturant for applying your frp this guy is applying the adhesive or the saturant over the primer and the color is something like this very beautiful pink color and the name of the chemical here from first rock is nitrap 410 okay there is a hardener and a base okay there are two of uh, sealant so after mixing this saturant you are applying here and within the application of this saturant or adhesive uh, maximum 30 minutes it allowed Within this 30 minutes, you have to apply your uh, FRP. Okay. And here you can see that this guy are applying the FRP. Okay. The FRP here has a width of 0.5 and a length of 50 meter. But the length of my girder is only 22 meter. So with a single bundle, I can use uh, it for two girder okay so after the application of the frp what you need to do you need to protect it from ultraviolet ray that's why i will use a an uv coating on frp and after the finishing it looks like this one okay and when i'm making this video my bottom frp application or the frp for flexure has been completed only after this application what i will do i will simply put another strip here uh, in this location for shear okay so that's all and if you find this video may be useful for other also you can share it and thanks for watching